Okay, so I am doing a warping on a warping reel using a paddle. This is a rigid heddle, and so I'm able to make a cross with it. So I have um, 10 cones there, and so I will be winding 28 yards. It will make my warping go a lot faster. But it's important because I'm using a rigid heddle to make a one-on-one -on -one cross. So when I get to the top up here, I have my rigid heddle. I am going to go down and then up. This makes my cross. Now what's important is that you have to keep this always on facing towards you. So then we're gonna go up and then down and that gives me a cross here. And we're going to go back down. This time it's coming from the front. So we're coming down, down. We're gonna do this two times. So round, 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 round. Down. And again, it's really important at the bottom that this is still facing us, so it goes around, still facing us, never turning. If you turn it, then you'll have a, uh, a tangle. No tangles. Come straight off, and then go back up, and up, and up, and the next time around, we're going to go again down, and up, around, and up, and down. Now one of the things I want you to understand is there is a double cross here. So there's a cross here, and then there's kind of a false cross here. This false cross um, is okay. If you're doing a um, front to back, you will be cutting right here. So this just comes, but if you happen to be a back to fronter, it's imperative that you tie right here because these will not make a real cross. So you have to tie here to be able to put your stick in. And then remember to tie your cross right here because this is the real cross. And then we go down again. And that is it.